Hello, my name is Khan, and I want to kick off by telling a short moment that occurred in my life. During the time I was studying English, I had just written somewhat of a constructed essay. However, my mood immediately went down when I started checking for spelling mistakes. As you may know, spelling is a tough stuff for, spelling's a tough stuff for many, and it's especially harder if you're a foreign speaker and a dyslexic person. Anyway, back to the story. Almost half of the words I wrote was spelled wrong, and I was really demotivated. Then a thought crossed my mind. Could that relate to dyslexia? Then I simply googled that, found a few techniques like mnemonics or just real practice, advice for dyslexic people. But I was more surprised to learn that virtually any learning method that was advised for dyslexic people was also advised for literally everyone. Now I look back and now I realize that moment of curiosity led to a great change in how I perceived learning. After starting to use this practice, I significantly made progress. In fact, I downloaded an app called Anki that works with this practice. By the way, also I, by the way, I also placed this app next to other apps I frequent, so every time I look at my phone, it gets my attention. In this method, you simply learn with intervals increasing each time. You learn something and don't turn back, don't turn back to it until you almost forget it. After a while, I have also discovered a few more useful methods, uh, like going to work trying to be creative, or talking to oneself trying to have a better understanding of the material. Going through such an experience, I ask myself the question. Why do some methods are useful, whereas others are, others are time wasting? Why sometimes I study and study and sit for hours and don't remember a thing? Is that because I'm not smart enough? Well, it is what we think usually, isn't it? We cannot make progress. When we get stuck, when we cannot make progress, we think that we're not enough. Well, I don't think that it's the reason for the majority. To give an actual answer to this question, I want to give a call from James Clear. Every goal is doomed to fail if it goes against the grain of human nature. Those working methods are in line with our nature. Since human emerged, they were inextricably intertwined with learning. They had to understand their environment, to look out for predators, and to, to search for cues for water, food, and sex. In other words, they use their brain to survive. Okay. That sounds, uh, so far, this all sounds good, right? But I hear you ask, how can I find these questions, these methods that you just mentioned? How can I find those methods that our ancestors used? Well, unfortunately, I cannot tell you anything but to urge you to make your own research. And it shouldn't be too difficult since, it's just, since it is just one click away from you. Though I should warn you about the misinformation all over the internet. You may want to rely on educational psychology or behavioral science. Learning is so special for all of us. By comprehending how we will normally learn in nature, we can adapt to better learning techniques that we can actually use in modern life. Well, we don't even have to limit ourselves with our nature. For example, Kelly Lambert and her colleagues has taught rats driving small cars just to see how they will learn it. Scientists are running num an, an, inc an incredible number of research with animals like raccoons or rats and this is just one click away from you. Learning is just so special for all of us since it can change how we view the world and who we are. However, sometimes it can be a bit stressful, which is not too bad, but when we get stuck, it might be a smart idea to look for other ways of learning. I guess it is worth trying turning back to natural learning. Learning is like a superpower that we have. We can change it, we can change who we are, and we can expand our vision with our passion.